So tell us how it feels to be a master at the age of 10. A nine-year-old chess prodigy hopes the pandemic doesn't derail his dream of becoming the world's youngest grandmaster. Tanintoluwa Emmanuel Adeumi is a Nigerian-born American FDI master. Adeumi made headlines when he won the 2019 New York State K3 Chess Championship while living in a homeless shelter. Adeumi's family had fled Nigeria after receiving death threat from religious extremists and took refuge in New York in 2017. After the New York Times published his story, Adeumi became an international star and multiple people stepped into to help the young player tribe. Here is how he became a chess master. This young man is amazing. He's a Nigerian refugee who once lived in a New York City homeless shelter. And while he was in that shelter, he won the New York State Chess Championship. But folks, he was just getting started. With the help of photographer Tom Stasiak, we give you the story. So who is your favorite chess player of all time, Tony? This 10-year-old came to St. Louis to visit a place he will most likely reside one day the World Chess Hall of Fame. Tawny is the best 10-year-old in the United States, hands down. You're not the stool trap. <laughs> Tawny Aduwami practices chess 10 hours a day to get to this level. Let's put my king to safety. Tawny is considered a prodigy. In the U.S., we probably have two a generation, two or three kids per every 20 years, maybe. Although he puts in the hours, Tawny knows he was blessed with ability. The game is meant for you. It just comes to me and it just I'm very creative with it. He's a deep thinker at a young age. Tawny has already written four books. Have most 10-year-olds even read four books? I have to play like a beast now. And he's keenly aware of his goals. I want to become youngest grandmaster and then probably world champion and break um, 2,900 rating every day. Has anybody ever gone over 2,900? No. The highest is 2,882 by Magnus Carlsen. I mean, there's nothing that makes me more happy than to move a chess piece. It's like you have the piece and you put it on the square and like take the other piece, like, ciao. It feels so relieving, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Tani Tolua Adewumi, who goes by Tani, is a rising Tani chess star. Tani. He's already a national master, just steps away from the ultimate title of grandmaster. This 10-year-old wants to be the youngest person ever to hold that honor. How many moves can you see in advance? It depends on the position, but something above 20. Where do you keep that in your brain pan? So basically, I have a chessboard in my head, the exact same position. I make one move, and then there's like three or four or five different combinations. Then I have five boards in my head, and I'm playing it on each board, basically. Tani, this must be so overwhelming. How did you feel when you won that championship? I felt surprised. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. You couldn't believe you were that good that fast? <laughs> yeah. When did you learn how to play chess, Tani? Is it something you'd played before? No. Yeah? I, like a little bit over a year ago. Well, and, yeah. Why did you start? How did you get into it? I got into it when my brother, he started teaching me chess, but he didn't teach me the right rule. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Un until I, until Coach Sean came and then he taught me the right rules. What do your coaches mean to you? Uh, they mean uh, a lot, like they're really supportive. When you meet a young boy like this, and he's never he's never taken chess for real, how did you go about teaching him? And did he just pick it up like like that? Every kid uh, yeah. deserves the opportunity to learn chess, yeah. and Tenny was no different. Mm -hmm. He wanted to play, and we wanted to have him. Yeah. And um, his acceleration.
Okay. Ah, uh, so I have nothing. It, it feels like this yeah, cock when it goes when it goes down on time, like when it goes to less than a minute, then it feels more nerve wracking because of the time is like tick 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 tick. Okay. I really feel like I'm so excited to look at this with an engine. Okay, you know I'm, I'm oh, yeah. losing. <laughs> All right, oh, yeah, I'll yeah, give yeah, you a little yeah. bump. There we go. Oh. Meet Stan Toluwa Adeumi, a young chess prodigy whose talent and resilience have captured the art of people around the globe. A chess prodigy Adeumi quickly sold. In 2021, his rating increased from the 1700 to the 2100. Adeumi became a national master and just a few months later earned his FM title. His inspiring story continues to inspire people from all over the world and multiple national and international media outlets pick up on the stories. Tantoliwa's story is one of determination in the face of adversity. Born in Nigeria, his family faced many challenges, including financial hardship and political unrest. But amid the chaos, Tantoliwa found solace and purpose in the game of chess. At the age of eight, Tantoliwa discovered his love for chess and began playing in local tournaments. Despite not having access to formal training or resources, his natural talent shot through and he quickly rose through the ranks. However, their life took a drastic turn when they had to flee Nigeria due to threats to their safety. They arrived in the United States as refugees, facing a new set of challenges. Despite the upheaval, Tanto Lewa's passion for chess never waved. With the support of his family and community, he continued to earn his keys, practicing for hours on end. In 2019, Tanto Lewa made headlines around the world when he won the New York State Chess Championship for his age group. His victory was not just a triumph on the chessboard, but a testament to the power of resilience and determination. Today, Tanitolua continues to inspire others with his story, proving that regardless of where you come from or what challenges you face, the power to succeed lies within you. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the remarkable life of Tanitolua Dewumi. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for more African stories of triumph and inspiration. Until next time, cheers and have a good one. <laughs>